Hey guys, welcome back to World of Tanks with the Captain. And I continue my trek into the dark side, driving tank destroyers. I have been driving my newly purchased SU-85B, which I have fully kitted out now. Uh, my crew's still cr fairly crappy at only 90%, but uh, I'm fairly impressed so far. I also have a Jaeg Panzer IV and my Dicker Max. And it's been weird because I've been driving these tanks a lot lately. And for the last eight days, I've had 73% win rate. And <laughs> I'm like, okay. Did something, like, get into the Kool-Aid for the this last, last patch? Or is it because I'm driving tank destroyers for the first time and realizing exactly how retarded they are? Like, <laughs> so I've been doing quite a lot of damage. Um between tiers 4 and 6 basically because I don't even have any higher tier tank destroyers than what I currently have but this guy is pretty powerful I'm over here at the SU-100 and we're going to try and cover off this side of the map here got my binos up camo net on it should be invisible and what do I find? A20, gonna aim my shot. Hit him once. Hit him twice. And unfortunately, that wasn't enough to kill him. <laughs> that would have been nice to kill him. I even rolled high on both the shots, but it's still, I was a little bit. Eight, eight hit points short. But that didn't stop him from doing this. So I shot through the truck, and then I tr hit him in the tracks and didn't do any damage to him. And I didn't get a kill. That made me very sad. So this was kind of a sad game. Um, you can see we're already down three tanks. And I'm the only tank now on this entire side of the map. And I got my binos up, so I should be able to see almost to that other corner. But that doesn't take into account invisibility of other tank destroyers on this, on this map and in this game. So I'm sitting here, I'm like, okay, I can keep sitting here and then have five tanks drive up on me, or I can move up a little bit when I still have teammates that are actually still alive. So I sit here for a little bit longer, <laughs> not too much longer, and then I decide to move up. And wait for it. I was going to try and get into cover here behind this junk. So I take a look around the corner. Didn't spot anybody. So then I was like, okay. This tank turns pretty fast as well. So I pop around the corner and oh shit. I have a Stug and a KV-1 that can't shoot straight. And I've got a Panzer III shooting me from behind. And I thought I was pretty much dead at this point. So I was just like, I'm going to get rid of this Stug. And then instead of reversing, which would have got me killed, <laughs> I managed to die. <laughs> managed to uh, dodge the the KV-1, who was, I assume he was firing the derp, and he just got nailed by someone from the hill. I think a KV-1 shot him from the hill. So I got myself into cover over here, and I've got a truck in between me and whatever else is over here. And then someone shot the truck like a jerk. So now I'm. I'm a one-shot for everything. I was kind of, kind of at this point wondering how long I had a shelf life of, but I didn't think it was going to be too much. So I shoot the M4, and then I pull up a little bit, pre-aim him, hit him again, and uh, I was getting a little bit messed up because this tank has really odd, not odd, but bad gun depression. And he missed, and that sealed his fate. So I took out the M4, and now that things are looking really, really bad. The uh, Panzer III that was shooting him in the ass, he went over and started attacking our artillery. So I decided, you know what, I should probably go back and try and help him or something. <laughs> but that, uh, got a KV-1 over here. So 
So this guy's going to try and run across here, I think, at some point. So I pull back a bit, and I just pre-aim. Shoot him as he comes around. And now he's going to come blazing around the corner, and I wait. And I really don't know how I got killed there. I'm going to slow this down. <laughs> because... All right. We're now at... One eighth speed. Oh, we were. Hold on. We'll let this catch up. I'm gonna shoot this fella. Again. So we're gonna let him get up here. I'm at half speed. And I assume that he'd maybe be invisible at this point. And he just shot me before I shot him. I pressed the button just as he was shooting me, and I died. <laughs> I was very sad. But I wasn't too sad because I was a tier 4 tank in a tier 6 battle. And I ended up doing 1300 damage. And the next best guy did 1400, and he was a tier 6. So my first impressions of this tank, I've only driven it about, what is it, 12 battles or something. And I got an 85% win rate. And my first impressions are is... <laughs> <laughs> this thing is amazingly overpowered. I mean, it has only 30 less pen than my tier 6 tank destroyer, my my Yig Panzer IV. It does about 30 more damage, and it shoots right around as fast. About, this thing shoots at like 13 rounds per minute. I think the Yig Panzer is around 13 to 16, probably 16, but... The, just the the rate of fire this thing can like rain down on people from range is just insane. Like I'm gonna have a review of this thing up fairly quick. I want to put in a few more games, but I don't think I really need to play like 200 games for me to know if this tank is any good or not. But this thing is insane. Um, I'm just gonna pretty much get this crew up to 100%, and then I'm gonna transfer them up into my SU85 that I haven't bought yet. And then I'll probably dump another crew into this so I have a tank that I can play at tier 4 because I just recently bought a Matilda and now I have this. So those are pretty much going to be my tier 4 tanks, I think, for when I need to play a tier 4, if I want to play a tier 4. So that's going to conclude this quick little look at the SUE-5B. Powerful little powerhouse. Man, this thing is mega strong. And I really, really wish I could have killed that Panzer III. I was kind of thinking that he would maybe go invisible by the time he came around the corner and that he would appear further ahead, but that didn't happen. And I think that's probably what got me killed, but either way, I missed him and I died. <laughs> cool. Later, guys.